My name is Noah Mascal Gomes. I am 21 years old and I'm from Antigua and Barbuda. So I come from a family of five. I'm in the middle, directly in the middle. Uh, my parents had me in Montreal, Canada. I was born in Montreal and I was raised in Antigua and Barbuda. My father's Antiguan, born and raised. And we moved to Antigua when I was just a baby. And I grew up there, went to primary school and everything. And that really shaped me into the, the person I am today. I got into swimming by chance, honestly. Uh, the primary school I went to, they built a pool. And I was 11 years old and I wanted to try out for the team. And unfortunately, I didn't make it on the first try. I didn't make it on the first try. And I was vexed. I was very upset. By some miracle, one of the older kids broke his arm. And, and they gave me a chance. And I learned how to competitively swim from then on. Growing up in the Caribbean, swimming definitely wasn't a popular sport. I'd say the more popular sports are track and field, cricket, uh, football. So swimming was definitely not something that I expected to get into, but um, I'm glad I did. I came from a split household, so I moved around quite a bit in my childhood. Uh, we had several different houses and I moved from different cities to cities. And, and for me, growing up, swimming was the only constant thing that didn't change, especially after I hit my teenage years. Um, I had to reset, move schools, meet new people, and, and swimming for me was was the only sort of structure I had to uh, to keep me in a routine growing up. I love swimming, and I love the places it's it's taken me, um, and the people I've met, and the lessons I've learned. The sport has forced me to learn uh, things like resilience, patience, gratitude, determination, and and it really shaped me into the, the man I am today. So this actually isn't my first time at Azura. I've actually crossed paths here back in 2014 uh, through regional competitions. Azura used to have a good recruiting program. And uh, I met John Luca back in 2014 in Aruba, I believe. And basically he told me about the program and I moved here when I was only 14 years old. And I stayed with a host family from Venezuela and they took care of me. And, and I spent about two years here before I moved back to New York with my father. And I guess my second time coming here was after the pandemic, uh, which was great timing because because of last year, I wasn't really sure how much time I had left in the sport. Um, I wasn't able to train all year. And even when school started back, we had limited training sessions and I knew it just wasn't, it wasn't enough for what I wanted to achieve in the sport. So I really questioned if I could continue in the sport. Fortunately, I got the opportunity from my federation to, to, to swim for the Fino developmental program. And I took the opportunity and I ran with it. And, and since then I've been at Azura again, training since October. And it's, it's great. It's, it's funny how life takes you, takes you places and, and, and brings you full circle around. By getting that call from my federation, that was a sign. It was a sign I needed in a, in a very difficult time. And I'm, I'm very fortunate to to be able to swim in a time where not many people are swimming. I'd say my biggest goal to date is I want to inspire as many athletes from Antigua and Barbuda as I can. I want to demonstrate that people from our country can do significant things in the sport. And I hope that I can set a new standard for young children of Antigua and Barbuda. I just want them to, to know that there is a way. There is a way once you put your mind to it and, and people from our, our nation can, can do powerful things with, with sports. I like to take a lot of inspiration from the people who are close to me. Um, everyone has amazing qualities if you, if you take the time to observe your surroundings, you know? And, and for me growing up, I like to see the best in people, you know? I never really had giant idols, like superstar athletes. I really, I really admired the people around me, like my parents, my families, my coaches, my teammates, and, and those are the, the people around me that, that motivated me growing up. One of the biggest lessons I've learned uh, from being at Azura so far is that most of my obstacles, or at least the biggest obstacles, are all internal. And growing up, I, I, I really got frustrated for things that I couldn't control. And, and I'm very happy that the coaches have, have taught me to control my emotions and understand that everything that's happening externally is out of my control. And, and it's really important what's happening internally. And that once I control my mind and, and, and my mental aspect in the sport, I can do very powerful things. 
If I could talk to my younger self, one of the biggest things I try to make myself focus on is enjoying the small things. It, it sounds cliche, but I, especially last year, I realized I've traveled a lot of places and I put so much emphasis on the results that I realized that I was traveling all across the world and, and those memories were tarnished because I didn't swim well or I had a bad race or something bad happened. And, and it's, it's something that I wish that I took it more advantage of, you know, I, just to enjoy the process and the fact that I was fortunate enough to be there, you know, rather than focusing on the results. So definitely I'd, I'd, I'd make sure that I focus more on enjoying the process of, of things and you know just having a good time and nothing is that serious honestly it's, it's never it's never that serious <laughs>